Okay, so next is our horizontal shear stress. Yan. So let's consider this a uh, section or this figure. Yan, ta. So ano yan? Um, kumuha tayo ng infinitesimal element para sa ating beam. Yan. So, sabihin natin ito. Yan. Hindi. So andito siya eh. So ito na lang. Yan. Kumuha tayo ng infinitesimal element. Ayan. Na kung saan, yung infinitesimal element na yun, ang kanyang uh, base is dx. Okay? And syempre, ang ating i-consider is yung shaded area na kung saan ang layer, uh, layer natin na kukuha natin shear stress is located at distance y. Okay? So, kung ano to? Area prime. So, therefore, this is y prime ulit. Okay? So, y prime with respect to neutral axis. Okay? So, syempre, tuloy ko consider natin. Dito tayo kukuha ng ating force. So, andito yung ating shear force. Ah, sorry. Yung ating ano pala? Uh, actual force P. Okay? So, sir, tanong ko lang, sir, bakit po yung, ano dito, stress, ang ginamit natin is, ginamit natin is bending stress ito. Di ba, sinabi ko sa inyo nun na, hmm? ayan, kung babalikan natin yung bending stress, kasi mamaya, uh, dilemma sa inyo ito eh, yung ano, yung ating stress is bakit naging uh, bending stress. So, kung babalikan natin yung ating, ano, bending stress na topic, ayan, yung side view niya, Okay, then, this is our um, neutral axis. Okay. Then, this is our moment. So, may tingnan na, positive bending. So, considering the right section, that is counter clockwise. Okay, so this is moment. Okay. So, dito, di ba, ano, uh, compression yun, di ba? Compressive stress yan, di ba? And, uh, compressive stress is equals to m y over i na kung saan yung stress na yun is pwede rin natin makonvert into force. Ayan. So, this is our uh, green para compression. Ayan. And that stress is or can be considered uh, can be uh, tawag ito? Converted into force. Ayan. And considering this area okay, yung section na yun yung ating stress is equals to impressive stress is equals to P multiplied by A. Ayan. Kaya yung ating stress na ginamit dito, ayan, na kung saan yun yung naging sagot ng ating, ano, ng ating beam, okay, from the bending, stress, okay, kaya yung ating, ano, yung ating P is equals to stress multiplied by DA. Ayan siya. Okay? So, yun yung sagot kung sakali mang uh, naguguluhan kayo ron. Okay? So, next. Ayan. So, ito yun. Okay? So, this is P. Okay, and this is also equals to P. And syempre, naka-DX tayo rito. Ibig sabihin, meron tayo ditong ano, change in force. Okay, change, change in force DP. Okay, so P plus DP. Okay, and yung ating ano, shear stress dito. Meron tayong vertical ano dyan. Uh, uh, sorry, vertical shear force. Okay, yun yung mga, yun yung mga sagot ng ating uh, beam from the vertical or the from the loads na perpendicular sa ating beam. Okay? So this is a uh, shear V and this is also equals to shear P. Pero plus uh, DV na yan. Okay? Kasi may DX tayo. So sabihin, kada ano, kada considering or kada X distance, nag add tayo ng DV. Okay? So kung positive bending to, sabihin ano to, uh, clockwise rotation. Dito tayo sa left. So, this is M. And this is our M. Pero, syempre, DM rin yan. Kasi meron tayong i-add na moment. Okay? Kada distance X. Okay? So, this is our A prime. And this is our... This is the layer to be considered. Ayan. Which is in distance Y prime. So, ilagay rin natin dito. Ayan. So, ang ginawa natin, ang kinoxider na lang natin na base B is ito. Ayan. Okay? So, ngayon, alam naman natin yung ating, ano, force P is equals to negative MQ over I. 
Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dito, by summation of forces vertical, yung ating, ano, yung ating, um, paano ba to? Uh, yes, siyempre kung uh, meron itong ano, uh, actual force P, okay, from the bending stress yan, okay, sabi meron pa dito ano, horizontal shear, okay, so ito yung ating horizontal shear force, yan, okay, so equivalent sa P, okay, so this is our force, okay, so siyempre, uh, this is DF, kasi kinakonsider natin yung ano, yung ating, um, uh, infinitesimal element na dx lang okay. and so df na kung saan yung ating df kasi ano to eh uh, shear force to eh so pwede natin ito makuha from shear stress okay so yung ating shear force f or D, uh, df is equivalent to shear stress Multiplied by B, ayan. Multiplied by B, multiplied by DX. So, paano yun? Uh, I-drawing natin siya in 3D. Yung tingin tayo sa pin sa baba niya. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Ayan siya. Okay. So, ito yung ating shear stress. Ito. So, ito shear stress natin. And, this is uh, distance B. Okay, ito. And this is distance DX. Okay, so kung shear stress to, kung shear stress to, ito, shear stress, ang ating shear stress is equivalent to, okay, force DF over area na B dx. Therefore, ang ating df is equal to shear stress multiplied by B dx. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so, let's consider the infinitesimal element because this P is for, okay, for this force only. Okay? So, that is equivalent to M Q over I. So, if we will consider, uh, okay, um, adding an infinitesimal element in every x distance or yes x distances therefore yung ating uh, p plus dp will be equivalent to negative m of course meron ng ano yan, uh, dm so m plus dm multiplied by q over i so by equilibrium condition itaas na lang natin to yan Then, so, by equilibrium condition, yung ating P, okay, so sabi natin nga, summation of forces horizontal, okay? So, mangyari nyan dyan, um, P plus DP, okay? So, P plus DP minus P, okay? Then, equivalent to negative, uh, okay, negative M plus DM multiplied by Q over i then plus m ayan okay ah yes sorry meron pa lang ano uh, m multiplied by q over i so bakit naging plus m so naging plus m to kasi di ba ano negative p to dito eh so kung naging negative to Okay, then, magiging negative rin to. So, negative times negative, positive. Okay? So, ngayon, syempre, cancel out to. Kakancel yan. Ayan. Then, ito, negative M. Then, negative M, Q over I. Then, ito, positive M, Q over I. So, magkakancel out yun. Okay? So, matitira dito. 
yung ating uh, DP is equivalent to okay so mangyayari dito niyan is okay negative so negative dm multiplied by q over i okay so yun yung ating ano uh, TP okay so kung ito na may ko consider natin okay by summation of forces horizontal so summation of forces horizontal is equals to 0 to the right is positive so positive yung df so df which is also equivalent to ilagay na kagad natin yung shear, yung shear stress ayan so positive uh, shear stress multiplied by b dx minus p okay plus p plus dx is equals to 0 okay so cancelled out din to ayan therefore kung cancelled out to magka-cancel out din to okay ayan so ibig sabihin Ah, sorry. Hindi to ano, DX. This is DP. Sorry, sorry. Kaya pa nagtaka bakit magka-cancel out din yun. Okay, so DP. Ayan. So DP. So, matitira. Ah, uh, yes. Naka-cancel out natin yan. Ayan. So, ngayon, DP is equivalent to negative shear stress multiplied by B DX. Okay. Ayan. So ngayon, ano ang ating DP? Ang DP natin is negative DM multiplied by Q over I. So, negative DM multiplied by Q over I. Equivalent to negative shear stress multiplied by VDX. Ayan. And, ang gawin natin pagsama, okay, hiwalay natin yung ano, shear stress. Okay? So, siyempre, ano to? Negative, negative. So, maging positive. So, shear stress, so mangyari nyan dito is, okay, ilab, uh, ihuli natin yung dm. So, ano to? Q. Okay, Q over i. Q over i. Then, divided by b. Okay, multiplied by dm over dx. Okay? So, ngayon, ano yung dm over dx? Kung naalala ninyo, Ang concept ng ating moment is equals to Okay, uh, ah yes, yung ano tinuro ko sa inyo sa ano sa concept ng ano uh, shear and moment diagram by area method na alam natin na ang ating shear is equivalent to dm over dx, hindi ba? Or yung ating dm kasi is equals to v dx and this is the area of the shear diagram. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung ating dm over dx is also equivalent to our shear force. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung ating shear stress is equivalent to dm over dx which is equivalent to v or shear force multiplied by q over i multiplied by v. Okay? So, this is our shear stress. Ayan. Ito yung ating shear stress na yun. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung horizontal shear stress ng ating beam, ito, yan, nating horizontal shear stress na syempre nakalocate dito, yan, masyadong malaki. Yan. So, ang gawin natin, ito na lang. Ngayon, nakalocate dito, yan, dito siya, sa part na yan, yan, nakalocate dyan. Yung ating shear stress dito is equivalent to V, Q over IB na kung saan yung V natin is the shear force okay or the shear stress or yes shear force na magagaling sa ating ano uh, loadings okay then mamumutipin natin siya sa Q or yung first moment of area natin so ang first moment of area natin dito is equivalent to A prime multiplied by its okay its Y okay Y bar Okay, and that y bar is the uh, distance of its centroids from its neutral axis over the uh, moment of inertia of the whole section with respect to neutral axis multiplied by b, which is the base okay, of the considered area. Okay? 
So this is our shear stress.